Preventing the spread of infection requires you to break the chain of infection. But how can this be achieved? Your practice should be underpinned by a two-tiered approach of standard and transmission-based precautions. Standard precautions operate under the assumption that all bodily fluids are potentially infectious. This is because other people outside of yourself and the patient may be carrying pathogens. People might be infectious even if they are not outwardly displaying symptoms. For example, they may be in an incubation period or be asymptomatic. Pathogens can be transmitted by the environment, equipment or surfaces. You may be performing certain procedures that are associated with an increased infection risk. So what exactly are standard precautions? Standard precautions include all of the following. Hand hygiene. Personal protective equipment, PPE. Appropriate use and disposal of sharps. Environmental cleaning. Reprocessing of reusable medical equipment and instruments. Respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette. Aseptic technique. Waste management. Appropriate linen handling.